tag it. Okay. Um, hello, folks. Good morning. What? Who oh. the heck is that? Oh, what's up, Eric? Hey. What's up, Zabby? I don't know. Zabby. Well, Zabby's not in here. I'm just looking uh, at the. Oh, on the Facebook. I see. Yeah. Uh, on the oh, there's another AJ. Jaden. No, another AJ. <laughs> 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 you just <laughs> accept your fate. Anyway. <clears throat> Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to test some bandwidth. I, I've been working on this. Um, I've been working on games, if you guys haven't noticed. That's why I've been kind of like absent from the interwebs. Um, I've been using all that extra time just to learn some. What the? Who's walking around their home? My bad. I have to close my door. <laughs> just. Sorry, bud. Transformer. <laughs> it's a transformer. Yeah. yeah. You just hear all this stuff. Oh, it's a... <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of people up in here. How's everybody? It's good. And tabulous. It's been a while. Been a while. Been a while. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a painting. Talk to you guys for a little bit, and then get back into the swing of streaming. I'm probably going to use Streamlabs, the OBS thing, because it's free and it's dope. Um, it wasn't it wasn't installing my overlay for whatever reason. At least it didn't look like it was. But they have like their own overlays. Yeah. And I'm just like, uh, I'll just do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll just find them. But they're all like game gamer like, you know, they're all like like yeah, electricity coming out of there. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, this is. All... <laughs> Welcome to Robot Pencil Streaming. Here's where we're going to do some art. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you know, I don't, I'm not, I've never been too flashy. I know that's like what you're supposed to do, so maybe I should get into that. You're supposed to do it. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to say you like this and subscribe. Because the alg <laughs> algorithms, man, right? Like, it's all about those algorithms. The more people yeah, like yeah. A, vi a video, the more it's going to pop up. The more they subscribe, the more likely they're going to see it on their feed. So I get it. I get the hustle. I'm, I'm not hating. But does the hustle get you? Oh, shoot. Damn. Damn. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Those casino yeah. dollars. Because yeah. you come into to the meeting. <laughs> and you just repeat every idea <laughs> back to the person as a question. <laughs> so I was thinking we should add this new icon because, you know, more customers will be more likely to, to press the button. Yeah, but the press in. Oh, wait, what? I messed that all up. The button <laughs> presses you. Yeah. Tabisa, you're a genius. <laughs> That's upper level <laughs> management material right there. Yeah, bring it. See yeah, we're making Mind you the CEO. blown. So anyway... Let's talk about some non-controversial stuff. Mm -hmm. Star Wars being <laughs> one of the greatest <laughs> films, <laughs> latest. There's no controversy. Oh, everybody, man. everybody is pretty oh, much in agreement. Oh man, AJ. <laughs> Everyone's pretty much in agreement, right? I don't think anyone hates right. on it. It was garbage. Ooh, yeah. Oh man. Oh no. And then what else? What else is non-controversial? Trump. Yeah, he's doing great. Right, he's doing a good job. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, he's six foot three apparently, right? He's regular, not regular president. Like he's he's still a, like a genius, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a very stable genius. A very yeah, stable genius. So. Uh, I don't I don't care about that stuff anymore. <laughs> they said he was six foot three. He's definitely not. Oh, I, I did see something about that because I still watch some political posts from time to time, but um, I just thought that was funny. It's not serious. It was just funny. It was yeah, I mean, that, that's just like a great example of just who he is. <laughs> just like, just that's the lie about every single thing. He can't let anything go. Like, being six foot one is like still impressive, or even six feet tall, right? Like, that's there's nothing yeah. to be embarrassed about at all. Wrong with that. Yeah, I mean, it, there's really nothing wrong with any kind of height, to be honest. But you get what I'm saying. Like, if you were going to be dealt any kind of cards about what height you are, 
like yeah being in the six foot range is, is pretty cool but but anyway yeah a lot of people think that i'm like six foot tall just because of the way i talk because i'm like really deep voice and i sound like i'm like a giant like i uh, i always meet people and they're just like i thought you'd be taller I think people like, just make a lot of assumptions because of your voice, man. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm not I taller. Think, I, you know, that's a. I think that's a funny thing with, um, with a lot of artists because there, there are people I knew from, from conceptart.org that we we all had like our own, uh, ventrilo channel and we talked for like years, like six, uh -huh. six plus years, and then finally, like when we would meet each other, and be like, damn, you don't look anything like I thought you. <laughs> Wait, you're black. <laughs> yeah no yeah yeah that's one that's definitely one yeah you black dude <laughs> no this you don't know but you i'm a wild. clansman dude i'm a clansman <laughs> yeah I, you, you, you wait you're a white supremacist <laughs> you just this is like completely like catfishing each other yeah yeah yeah, I am. Um, I mean, how, how tall do you, like, some of you guys who, like, I know, Tabisa, you don't know how tall I am. At least no, you, I you've never, I mean, I'm sure you know what I look like. There's pictures of yeah. me and stuff, but um, how tall do you think I am? Uh, I five nine. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what do you think, Tabisa? Right in the middle? I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was going to, well, before you, before you mentioned that, I would have said, like, 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, oh, yeah. No, I'm 5'9". See? You get the yes! good, Yeah. I'm an average heighted man. I'm not nor I'm not tall nor short. I'm just right there. Size doesn't matter, AJ. It does, man. That's all I think about. <laughs> I wake up I don't wake up thinking, oh man, how can I make some more tutorials or like how can I make this game mechanic work? I'm thinking, how do I get taller? Because that's <laughs> Because, dude, Trump is six foot three, and uh, if he's all your characters in the game are like super tall as a reflection. Yeah, I make all my characters about seven heads tall, which is about seven <laughs> seven feet. That's actually true, but that's they have the extra long legs from that Ready Player One trailer or poster. Yeah, I, I'm the, the debate on that is still open for me. I don't know if that's actually like technically inaccurate. Um, there's there's this idea. Oh, go ahead. Put a skeleton uh, over it and was like, "Yeah, it's technically it can be correct. It yeah. just looks weird." It's like the same thing with the Laura Croft like long neck thing. Oh yeah, yeah. like that that actress does have a long neck, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so Alicia so what I'm thinking might have happened in both instances is that the person didn't alter the photo, but they don't understand creative like composition, like takes like agency over like literal interpretations like yeah. if you think of your, like your favorite like racing games most people think of games like burnout right mm -hmm. but those games are nowhere near like real life driving you know yeah. because people don't like there, there's definitely a group of people who really pr appreciate simulation at that hardcore level you know the gran turismos you know and forzas but you know burnout dude like i'm still waiting for like some sort of nba jam remake I remember like um, Tony Hawk, dude. That that's nothing like real, like real skating. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's nowhere near what you could actually do. And but it's it's cool. It's like a lot of fun. I remember loving Tony Hawk. Um, Great soundtrack. Yeah, and so my my point is is that like. I believe, like, I was looking at it, and I was like, yeah, that does look, like, super long, you know, but, I mean, it might not be, I was just like, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things, I remember I critiqued the student's work, and they had, like, that argument of, like, well, this is, like, 100% accurate, and I was like, well, you're probably right, but it looks like his leg is extra long because of this thing, like, who, who has me on speaker, because, like, I can hear myself talking. It's echoing. I can hear the echo, echo, echo. Can you hear the echo? Yeah, I can hear the echo. So someone's... Oh, wait. It went away. It's gone, yeah. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, I mean... Yeah, that movie looks cool, though. The player... Yeah. Ready Ready right. Player One? Is that what it is? I'm pretty excited. Yep. The book is really awesome and really yeah. nerdy. One of my favorite books. What? Reading? Oh, I hear myself <laughs> again. 
Who unmuted uh, themselves? I think, I think that's me. Okay. Yeah, if, just uh, just use headphones or just mute your mic when you're not talking. Have you guys seen um, new Thank Maze you. Runner yet? No, not yet. It's not the, out here the yet. The trailer? Uh, yeah, it's the out trailer. in Australia. I saw it yesterday. It's pretty awesome. The the movie is it the second I, one or is it the first the one? Third one. The third one. Third one. Yeah. What? I don't. I missed the second one. <laughs> you didn't see the second. The second one was awesome, dude. Yeah. Was it? it was the, the first Maze Runner was pretty cool. I liked it. Man, I miss all these movies. I I love those premises, man. I wish they made more movies like that. Just like one simple premise, and they just focus all around. I know it was based off a book, but you get what, my, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, like it's just like, you know, there's a man. He wakes up in a grocery store, but the only thing they're selling is terrorists. And it's just I like... Think, <laughs> I think it's all those, those young adult novel movies. Yeah, they're doing a good job of that, right? They're like, like the Hunger Games is the same idea, right? It's like yeah. several uh, districts, one to survive, to fight them uh, all. Battle yeah, Royale. Like I mean, D Divergent is like, what if everyone literally is a one-dimensional character? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't a fan of that one. That one, like it, it's it's yeah, not. Like yeah, like, I think I don't know what happened. There was like an era where just people forgot that like people just like watching movies that have like this really clear premise. You know what I mean? Like that's why people like kind of fell in love with the John Wick series because it's just like like hey, this guy. Like or, or I, I call it the old man is a badass action movies that are coming out. You know, there's yep. like a whole series like, of them. I think it started with, with Taken. Liam Neeson. Yeah, Liam Neeson. I think it started with him, yeah. The guy for those now. It's like, and what if they Jackie take... Chan movie, um, The Foreigner or whatever, like pretty racist oh, I wanted name, to see that. It's pretty good. What, what What's racist about it being called The Foreigner? <laughs> it's just called The Foreigner and it's starring Jackie Chan. Because well, he, he's foreign. He's man. foreign, it's, dude. No, it's, it's yeah, based on yeah, something called but, The China Man. And they made it the yeah. foreigner, so it's less racist. <laughs> yeah. So you know the I, I bad driver. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I if just the movie is called a foreigner, that doesn't throw red yeah, flags. Like... No, nobody's bad an eye with a movie named Black Panther. Like nobody's yeah. flipping out on that one. It's like. It's because this is the name, right? There, there's some, there's some names I think are clearly like pretty bad, like the Redskins, right? That's pretty bad. Yeah. Like, I, there, there's no way around it. That's like, it's not a great name, <laughs> you know? You can't be going around saying that stuff anymore. It's like literally a derogatory term, you know? And so, have you guys seen Tokyo Gore Police? Tokyo Gore Police? I don't know. That's that's policist. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't like how they interpret release in the name. How dare you? It's it's oh, like I a Japanese movie. Movie. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think I, I think I I don't know how I saw it, but I saw it. It's very <laughs> <What>? weird. <laughs> well maybe your eyes are open, dude. That's how you saw it. <laughs> no, I mean like I don't know how uh, I don't know how it was possible <laughs> to watch it, man. Like I was completely incapacitated. But somehow I watched it. Somehow. Maybe the movie watched me. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's that million dollar in, in Russia, Russia, the movie watches you. Yeah. So wait. So, what was what's the name of the movie again? What was it about? Sounds cool. I just sent I sent you the trailer on Facebook. It's called Tokyo Gore Police. It's like a Tokyo uh, Gore. Yeah. Like go, like blood and gore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's very gory. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> With a title like that, <laughs> yeah, it, it would be like watching a movie about a foreigner called it's The a, Foreigner, it's a Disney and everybody, <laughs> yeah, you go watch it. And it's just like this cute Disney movie about fishes <laughs> yeah. that look like Al Gore. Oh. <laughs> All of them. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I, I I haven't heard of it or seen it. Yeah, like uh, there's a lot of great Asian movies that are out. Like uh, the one that I saw, I think the latest one, which was a while ago, actually. Was Train to Pusan? That was cool. Train to Pusan. Train to Pusan. Yeah. Man, that was good. That's good a good movie. movie. It's a good movie. There's a sequel coming out for that, isn't it? What? How? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess. I guess. Me. Yeah. I guess there is a way they can do it. There's always a way. They can always do it. Yeah. Even if there isn't a way, they'll it still do it. Doesn't have to be like directly related to that specific story. How yeah. about the world as soon as I asked it? I'm sorry. Say it again. 
World War Z game they're bringing out? That looks really bad. Oh, it does? I don't know. You know what looks great? Like, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I'm generally pretty conservative when it comes to, like, I don't see a movie trailer. I usually just hold back until I actually see the film. But, um, uh, the Tomb Raider movie, right? Like, yeah. the first trailer, I was just like, oh, yeah. What are they doing, dude? And then the second trailer was just full of, like, awesome, like, act action sequences. Like, just yeah. back to back well, to back. And oh, I was like, whoa. It looks like they're following the game pretty closely. Yeah, yeah they are. I was like, whoa, dude. Like but like the, at least this game can have some genuine uh this game the movie has some genuine narrative right because yeah, like, yeah. i believe that yeah, the game yeah. actually had some good narrative in its it did, it did. cuz usually the problem with video game movies um is that video game movies like or the video game the original video game has like no real narrative great story yeah yeah and it's just because it's gameplay and so people would think oh yeah a movie about a, a video game is great but the experience is actually in playing the game itself too right yeah. Um, I just got approached to work on a video game movie, actually. So, I'm sure they're, they're going to ask me about my opinions. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Don't do it. It's like, terrible. Here's the script. Like, I've never got one ever. Thanks. But, um, no, I'm, I'm actually excited about working on it. Whether it's good or not, it's, you know, up to the, the developers, the filmmakers, you know? But, but I think there's room to, to make video game movies better these days because... There are some movies or games with narratives. Like when they were talking about making an Uncharted, uh, yeah, movie. Like I was like, that's that sounds like a great idea. That's, you yeah, know? that's definitely one. Yeah, but um, I think like it's gonna be hard pressed because Naughty Dog's like real sticklers about it, and as they should, because it's kind of what made them make their games so great in the first place. But you know, there's a there's still a few movies that were pretty decent like that are video game movies like the first silent hill that that silent hill movie yeah that was pretty I, I scary was pretty yeah i remember um yeah and and it, actually the the first resident evil movie was pretty cool yeah i remember liking that one yeah i think like horror works fine right because even in mortal horror kombat. yeah mortal kombat did great too you're right mortal kombat was a good one, the first um, one. so it's not like all of them there, there's always there, there's definitely a way it's just that you know you got to kind of focus in on what people actually like about the video games and yeah. then you could probably pull it off. Um, but, like, horror video games definitely, I think, do fine. Like, I think they're making the Slenderman one, right? I saw the yeah, trailer for that, yeah. and I was just like, yeah, that looks like it's going to be good. I think that's going to be fine. Because it's just, yeah, just like, there's no narrative in the actual mini game itself. So you just spin some sort of narrative around why that thing exists and just make it scary. Yeah. And, and people will go see it, and they'll like it. Even if they, they know nothing about if it was from a video game, right? Yeah. The timing for that movie is kind of crappy, though. You you heard about the uh, the two teenagers uh, that are uh, arraigned or whatever because they tried to kill their friend? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. So that trailer came out, I think, a day after those girls were prosecuted. Maybe it wasn't bad timing, Will. Maybe they knew... They were like, oh. this is perfect. <laughs> because, look, dude, people... Oh, con con controversy, man. Like, okay, so, like, uh, I try to stay out of, like, a lot of the stuff uh, these days because mostly this is a waste of my time, man. Like, I'm just, yeah. like, trying to get back to learning stuff. But there was, like, this whole thing with Jake Paul. I'm not sure if you guys heard about it. I'm sure yeah, you have. Suicide Forest thing? Yeah, so... so um, Wasn't oh, that Logan? Logan Paul. Logan oh, yeah, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Jake, yeah. Paul Jake Paul's his brother. Yeah. yeah, those guys are, those guys are bad, man. Those guys Very are bad. really yeah. bad influences. I was watching um, uh, H3 H3's criticism of theirs, uh, of their like newest videos. Like, like one of their videos is literally like, buy merch, buy merch, right? And I'm like, what? How is this legal? You know? Wait, what? It's what? Like, the, the whole video is just like a music video of them telling their audience to buy merch. Like, that's the the, the chorus of the song. <laughs> and the whole message of the song is like, buy our merch. <laughs> and then, like, the song wow. itself is like, buy this song on iTunes and uh, Spotify. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, dude, these guys are like straight money hungry. They're right? stealing. Like they're just straight up, just like not even hiding it, dude, and and they're just getting away with it. Well, at least 
Not anymore. I think Logan Paul's starting to get like some real yeah, but I think he's, effective. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube shut off his uh, some real effective yeah, backlash, but but it's still not going to be enough because you know he he's gotten even more followers. He's got even. I mean, if you think about like that's kind of potentially how our president became president. You know, for the same tactic, it just works, man. It's it's kind of absurd. There's this idea that to transcend to a, a type one civilization, a civilization that can travel through the stars, you know, like go from planet to planet, go from solar system to solar system, they need to get past this one hurdle, which is to get off their planet. And the way to do that is to get along. Everybody on the planet gets along and starts to say, hey, you know, our differences are, are stupid. But last year I was just like, no, nah, no, man, I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I was really optimistic before because of technology, like smartphones and like internet and all this great stuff. But then I was like, I saw the dark side of what that also can bring. So we, we're going to see how we're going to fare in the next decade. You know, the the ruling is still out, but my point is, is that you know, seeing the Jake Paul stuff uh, and Logan Paul stuff, and then seeing what's going on with the. Uh, different not only not only our government but other governments too you know there's some other stuff going on around the world yeah. and i'm just like this is this is the breaking point like if we don't get our act together um like this is going to determine a, a very nasty and dangerous fate for our, our species you know we might not experience it today or even in our own lifetime but it could happen to our kids or our kids generation which i I don't want to talk too much more about it because it makes me upset. <laughs> but, but like, I'm starting to see all this stuff and I'm just like, it's crazy. It's just crazy that it's just, uh, it's how it is. Yeah. I, I wish, I wish the only arguments that people had again were just about Star Wars. They didn't like it or they liked it. You know, like, yeah. I still feel like it's a, it's a waste of breath to have like vigorous battles. Uh, over, I think it's fine, you know, if you do it in a social context and you're just chatting with friends. But I see people doing it for hours and like they don't work or do anything. They just you're wrong, and I hate you. And I, it's like whoa, uh, you know. But but it's just like I don't know, man. So just I just started like I put my head back down and just started working on like learning how to make video games and stuff. And I've gotten pretty good at it. I've, got, I've found uh, a really good system of, of methods to build some pretty um, cool games, man. I made three so far. I'm on a roll. But I'm approaching it the same way that I did with art, which is try to get really good um, in terms of, like, speed. Like, can I build a game, like, within a week or two? You know, like a really... It might not be good, but just build something that works. You know? Getting back into that because all the other stuff started to depress me. I started getting real anxiety. I was like, okay, this is not productive. You know? But anywho, I digress. So you guys all love Star Wars, though, right? Uh, I, yeah, I actually liked it. Uh -oh. I'm a Trekkie, but I, I appreciate Star Wars. I like it. What? Everyone here liked it? No. Never mind. No, no, no. I didn't like the new movie. I like. I'm more of a Star Trek fan, but I'll be right like, I appreciate the old films. Oh, I see. I like Star Trek too, man. Star Trek, great. You know what? Um, Star Trek. Yeah, you, you know what's um, what's good is Black Mirror, and they had like a Star Trek episode type yep, thing. That, did you, that did first you, one. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Was, uh, no, I haven't yet. Uh, I won't spoil it then. But it 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 takes place in like a Star Trek setting. It's pretty cool. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, as I was watching it, I was just like, "Where are they going with this?" And then once once I found out, I was like, "Oh, dude, this is like, dude, how do they into, how do they Dark come up with that?" One of my favorite movies, probably. Oh, the, the the latest one, which was done by the. Uh, yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch plays um, Khan. Yeah, 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 that one's good. Yeah, that they was probably one of my favorite ones. They have three of them, don't they? Yeah, there was a new one that came out. I didn't like that too much. Like, it was still good, but not as good as the second one. I liked that one a lot. The third one. It was Fast and the Furious director, wasn't it? I like Fast and the Furious. That's probably why. <laughs> oh, it was, it, it was Family. 
Black Mirror is so good, dude. Yeah, Black Mirror is really good. Premises, I'm just like, holy crap, that's really interesting. Yeah, like uh, I like it. It's it's definitely the modern day Twilight Zone. I loved Twilight Zone for the same reason. Like it's just, like sometimes they don't have like a message, right? Like in most stories, you have like you have like a message, like there's a moral, right? That's at least all most good stories. Because what makes us intrigued by stories is that they they kind of give us a message, you know, like they tell us something about ourselves, you know. And or give us heed warning of other problems that might occur, you know. Anyway, um, but like with Black Mirror and movies or TV shows that uh, I like it, you know what they do. What I really like about what they do is that they just really tell, like these, uh, yeah, interesting premises that just make you think. Yeah. You know, that just make you think. Like even if like the 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 show ends like really sad which most of them do right oh yeah you yeah. just you just think like man what would i do in that circumstance like yeah. this is an... and that, yeah. i bet that's what they're they do they just sit in the room and they're just like all right like what's going on and like what happened what would you do in this situation because the very first episode right was with the pig right wasn't that wasn't mm-hmm. that the, the very very first one, first one? The politician with the pig yeah yeah where the premise in that one was that they threatened to murder like this president's daughter or some important daughter i forget exactly it's not too important but it's just someone important unless this government official like the chancellor or whatever has sex with a pig on live television and at first they thought it was a joke and everyone's playing like it's ah, that's just a joke and whatever but it gets starts to becoming serious more seriously because they get like they get like her toe and it's like there's DNA attached to it, so it's like legit, and he's like, pre- like he's saying, doing stuff that like predicted, and it's like, it's becoming more and more real. And I'm just like, because when I first saw, it, I was just like, what? This is stupid. And then, but as it was going on, I was like, oh my like, god. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, what would happen in this? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, holy shoot. Yeah. Do. yeah, and then there was um, um. My favorite one, I believe, is the one where um, uh, it was the it was the one where they're like they were living in a in the simulation, right? I forget what the name of it was. It's like San Capas No. Oh, San Junipero. There yeah. you go. That one. That was my favorite. One. I think that's a lot of people's favorite. Because that one, I think, actually had a narrative. And that's probably yeah, it why. had the best like, story. Probably. It had like a, it had like a it had like a real moral message. It was a really cool premise, and it had like it had like a beginning, middle, and end. You know, because some of these things they have like a bit beginning, middle, end, but it's like very linear. You know, it's just like okay, like hey, we caught you looking at that porno. Now do this, and then now go do that, and now go do this with this other person that we have evidence against, and you do this and then the next thing you know like this guy is like fighting somebody bare fist in the middle oh, of nowhere yeah, yeah, that one. Jesus. and then it just ends terribly like it's just it's very like yeah. like there's a beginning middle and end but it's not <laughs> there's no real stories you it's don't like, learn anything it's just kind of like this this happened this happened this yeah. happened this happened and, and, and typically that's a twist that you're like oh my god and typically that's bad storytelling if you just like tell things as they are happening like that but i yeah. think that's the formula the, the formula is like build around like a really it, it's i think it's the same way like action movies work right action movies work in the same kind of way you know what i mean like um like you have a movie like speed which is like there's a bus and if it goes below 50 miles an hour yeah. it's gonna blow up and I, then you, I literally saw speed for the first time oh uh, dude christmas and i was just like this is simultaneously the best movie and and the worst. Dude. I have no idea how that movie worked, but I enjoyed it. I love that movie. It's my favorite, one of my favorite action movies because uh, it, it's very simple, man. It just like keeps simple. it keeps him putting him in situations. Like once they've come overcame one hurdle, they throw another hurdle, and he just yeah, and just gotta keep going, gotta keep going, gotta keep, keep going. Like once they. Like there's the 90 degree turn that they have to do. There's the, the missing gap in the ridge. There's the, oh my God. there's like yeah. one thing after another. They have to get the hostages out. He know, he's one step ahead of them. He loses his partner, right? Like it's like one thing. And even when they finally kill the bad guy, it's over. yeah, and they kill the bad guy and everyone's safe except for you know Connery's and Sandra Bullock's characters. You know, like, all right, great. And it's just all right. Just give me the key. He's like, what key? 
key. <laughs> the key. And he's like, I don't have the key. And then like he's trying to like he's trying to break. It's it's amazing. Yeah. You're just like, yeah. what? Yeah. It's not over. <laughs> and yeah. and it's amazing. It's really great. And then and then he's like, he's gonna like he's he almost said it. He's like, I need to use speed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he didn't say that, but he should have. He's like, like I'm just gonna like full throttle this train off of the rails and then we're gonna see yeah. this train model <laughs> cutscene yeah. oh, <laughs> and then uh and then it ends after they like make the train go through like buildings and go into the middle of the city see that's 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 a good action movie then like or it's just it doesn't stop raising the stakes you know and uh, i think what um Black Mirror does. Black Mirror does the same idea. It's like the same premise, but it's just more cerebral. And it's like it's it's less about like the like action, if that makes sense. It's more about like just okay. Here's here's the situation. You know, like you have to have sex with the pig. Yeah. All right. And now we're gonna show you how this guy is gonna have sex with the pig. <laughs> you know, and you're just yeah, like, like look, we're gonna start with like how is this gonna end up? Like, there's no way. Yeah gonna fake it and the guy's like nope you gotta do it exactly this way <laughs> yeah like, oh well, we can't fake it if we have to do it that way yeah that, that was one of my favorites the other one was um one of my other favorites of theirs was the one with uh, the episode where they can like look back at all their memories like it's all saved yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. i was like dang that's fascinating that's super because that guy made himself go crazy because of it like he yeah he kept on like rewinding and rewatching like this uh yeah, yeah. And uh, I, the, one of my favorite ones was the one with the horror game wait say say, guy, say one more time it's uh, the one it's with okay, the horror okay you guys game. can keep building this film build where it's the dude much. who's like he like goes traveling like across uh -huh. europe or whatever and then he's, he gets stuck in britain or whatever and he's lost his money and he's like yeah i remember that one beta tester for a horror game yeah that one's a good one too oh man they're they're all good, man. They're, all, they're there's a, there's only a few that I was just like this thing is good, but as as comparative to like all the really good ones, yeah. you know, I, I'm sure on its own it was still pretty good. Um, it's like the Pixar effect. It's like when uh, Monsters University came out, like critics were like Pixar has lost their flavor, and I, I remember watching it and I was like, this movie's amazing. <laughs> what are you talking about? But then I thought I was like, well. It's not like they made anything new. It was just like one of those really popular formats. Like it's like a college movie. Like you got you got the the nerd and you got the frat, and then now they have to work together to graduate, kind of thing. And then they like, yeah. but then they took there was a really good twist at the end of that, and it was really it was a great moral message too. It was about like, um, you you can do whatever you want to do, even if you can't do it, right? Like even if like literally you're not capable of doing the thing. There's always a way, you know, that was what I got out of that movie, you know, like, because like Sully had the talent, Mike didn't, you know, but Mike was also not very scary, but he had all the skill, like he understood the, the ability to be the, the best monster and together they worked really great. Right. That was the whole idea that like he ends up becoming like this, uh, like the, the, the climax of the movie is that they had like scared adults, like a whole group of adults. And it's like, I've never scared adults before. And he's like, if you follow my lead, we'll take him down right and they does it they do it and it's great yeah and it, it demonstrates like you know even though solely had the talent they had to like work together and it's great it's like it's it's, it's a really great message to send to kids and adults alike you know it's the kind of stuff that i actually try to teach my students you know it's, it's okay if you're not kobe bryant or michael jordan like some of these some of the best in the world if you even if you're still on the bench playing on the lakers you're playing on the lakers you know what I mean? Like, even if you're, like, third string, like, that means you're better than millions and billions of other people. And so, um, that's kind of what I got out of it. I liked it. But it, it was, like, the Pixar effect. Like, it, but it wasn't, like, WALL-E or Up or Toy Story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, or even the first Monsters movie. You know? It was just, it was just a really good movie. Just using the monster theme. But I, I get it. it I get the best movie. Yeah. And so then Pixar had, you can tell they had a lot of stress after that. They're like, okay, how do we make movies? Everyone now judges us for everything.
<laughs> but what movie that I watched recently that I really liked? Oh yeah, Jumanji. I like that movie a lot. Uh, the first one or the new one? The new one, the one that came out with the rock. I heard Jumanji was really good. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things about that. Like it's one of those uh, surprisingly good movies. Yeah, I liked it better Even than Even my dad's mom. Oh, yeah. Wait, what happened? You know how when you watch movies with your parents and if they don't kind of get the cultural references, they don't laugh? Even my uh -huh. parents were laughing at that so. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you liked it, right? Yeah. yeah it was like, funny, dude. It well was good. Done huh? It was a very well done sequel. Yeah, it was actually surprising. Like, uh, it made me realize that The Rock and Kevin Hart. They're, they're just, really good together. They're just great. They're, 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 they just need to do more movies together. Even the movie I watched, I watched like Central Intelligence. Central they were both in there. And I was like, this is funny. Just because of them. Like, it's not like the premise or anything. It's just those two guys are just really great. Yeah, they're you could tell. Jack Black did really well as oh, yeah. well, though. He's he did. Actors. You're right. They all did. You're right. It's not like the, those two were those stars. You're right. Everything about it was pretty great. You know? I, I liked a lot about it. I liked it more than Star Wars. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Not I was, I was, no. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, serious, man. I was just like, this movie is making me have say, so much more fun. Wh which one? Uh, the new one, uh, 20, 20, 49. Did you uh, like it? I freaking loved it. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I, like we watched the original screen, like, director's cut the weekend in the cinema before the new one came out. And it was like exactly the same like i had the same emotions throughout the whole film uh i for me uh, it was different because i i i like the first one and everything the first one like sort of stands for but it's super boring for me yeah True. i've never liked the first one oh the first one was garbage <laughs> i'll be honest i was watching and i was like why do people like this movie this movie's stupid dude <laughs> i really thought it was like so stupid um uh, but the, back when i watched it first time i was in a like an artist i just watched it and i was like what the hell is this movie like who cares <laughs> i felt that way the whole movie i was like oh my god did you guys like the movie stores. the road with Viggo Mortensen? Uh, yes. I don't remember liking or disliking it. I watched it and just... Yeah, I don't remember liking or disliking it. But the, but to, to get back on the first Blade Runner versus the second one, I liked the second one a lot more. I thought the second one was good. Oh, the I, second one is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. There's no arguing that. But I, I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, I've, I've yeah, talked probably. about, like, I know that artists will probably be splooging all over it, but the general public just doesn't care. And like if you if you watch like the latest trailers for it that are coming out or like the uh, video trailer like for the the Blu-ray and DVD yeah like it's only just action because they're trying to like get people's like no trust us there's like stuff in there's it there's action in it yeah it's not just like, like no no there's not that much action. there really isn't no I remember like I had to go pee because it's like a seven hour movie and I was like alright I need to go use the restroom. <laughs> Like, it was no time, man. And so I was just like, okay, look, they're in the middle of, like, nowhere right now. Nothing's going to happen. I'll be fine. And, like, and, back and, and, and it was like, same. nothing, nothing has happened <laughs> since the last eight hours. <laughs> I, know. I, I actually but, fell asleep the first time I was watching it. Oh, see. Which it's is just, such a weird thing for me. Where I'm just like, I fell asleep watching a movie that I like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's because nothing's happening, dude. It's just, and you're just in a comfortable seat and you're in a dark room. <laughs> Melting away and they're showing you bright colors. And the music, yeah, no, the music sounds like, yeah, it sounds like white noise or like a, you're in the womb, right? It's super meditative. It's just like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's, wait, who's typing like a fiend? Is that Michael? I know, I know Michael always typing and he types super loud. Is that Michael? No, it's not. Uh, not you this time? Oh. But anyway. Um, I, I liked it, though. Overall, I did think it was a good movie. Um, but, the, oh, yeah. The, so I went to the bathroom, and then I came back, and my, uh, one of my friends was like, so he killed the girl, or the girl killed the other girl. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, when you were gone, he killed, she, she killed her. Me, sorry. And I'm like... 
oh man, I was only gone for like ten minutes, <laughs> and like literally for the last hour, nothing was happening. The guy, like Ryan uh, Gosling's character, was just walking around talking to people. And I'm like, yeah. all right, yeah. like okay, it's I think Ryan Gosling thing. Yeah, he was just like, yeah, when you're gunning, she she killed her. She like grabbed her head and just crushed it. It was epic. It was so epic. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> Dude, I, I as I was watching that movie, I, actually, I think part of the reason why I really liked it was because Ryan Gosling basically played two characters from from other movies that I really liked with him, which was uh, Drive, and uh-huh. then uh, and then uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the one where he's like the a... Notebook. No, perfect. No. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it's it's the one with him and Russell Crowe where he's like a a detective or a, a private investigator or something like that. What? Russell uh, Crowe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a really good uh, like... I don't know, uh, Beyond the Pines. No, not that one. Um, Is that the movie you're thinking of? No, 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 no. It's it's more recent than that. Uh, shit, what was it called? The Nice Guys. That's what it was called. If you guys haven't seen that, you should see it because it's actually it's it's really funny. Right, I'll bring my pillow. Yeah. So that way. <laughs> well, no, it's it's actually I'm, not. It's it's. Not. I will bring my pillow. Don't okay. tell me what not to do. Right. <laughs> yeah, that. It's it's actually more of a comedy than anything else. Which is I think I remember that actually. I think I remember it seeing that it was a comedy. Comedy. Yeah, I remember it being a comedy. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll check that one out. That sounds good. We, me and my wife just got done watching uh, I, Tanya. That's pretty good. Liked it. Dude, like, Tanya Hardy, man. Like, she had a rough, dude. I was just like, what? Is this, like, true? Is all this happening? And my wife's like, yeah, yeah. I saw a documentary about all this. It's actually, like, a lot of this is true. Crazy. And I'm like, Did you guys Dang. see the trailer for Dundee uh, with Danny McBride? Like Crocodile Dundee? Yeah, he plays Crocodile Dundee's son. <laughs> With Danny McBride? Wait. Yeah, I'll I'll send it to you. Hold on. That's not. I don't think that works. Does it work? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Apparently, it does. Who would be a better son, Crocodile Dundee? Because wouldn't know. you need an Australian, right? Yeah, but remember he goes to America, so maybe he like has a kid in no, America. No, I'm something. sure there's some way that they can spin it. I'm not arguing that, but I mean, it's kind of like the same argument that people make whenever like uh, they make a movie about the Last Samurai and they cast him as a white dude. Uh, Tom Cruise is the yeah, Last Tom Samurai. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Like, right? Like, like isn't Crocodile Dundee? Isn't the whole idea oh, yeah. is that it's he's Australian? Australian. Yeah, definitely. It's like an Australian. It's kind film. of essential to that character. Yeah, like like I, I generally don't mind if like let's say a movie like Old Boy. Old Boy is it wasn't inherently a Korean like it wasn't imperative that everybody was Korean. Does that make sense? And so when they re reinterpreted it like to like have like a you know, American cast, it doesn't bother me nearly as much as like something like a movie that in the title <laughs> it's like it's very clear that there is a, a very specific culture that's being represented, you know? Yeah. And that, that to me, because I, I generally don't mind that either, because it's still just a movie at the end of the day. I'm just, like, curious to, like, because there, they, they, there's a lot of really good Australian actors that already exist, and that could be funny. Like Hugh Jackman, for instance. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, Hugh Jackman would have been great. Isn't he Australian? Right? Like, that would have been perfect. Yeah. And he's a funny, he's a funny actor. Like he's, yes, of course he's like the action hero. And he's also like very, uh, known for like being, you know, he's the handsome, Wolverine. yeah, handsome, like, you know, stud of man. But that makes me even believe like he would be even more perfect. Cause that's kind of what I remembered. <laughs> Dundee was kind of that. Yeah. Like he kind of was like this, like over he's the like top, like overly outdoorsman. muscular, Yeah. Outdoorsman. That would, that would have been just better. But I guess they're. <laughs> I guess it's going to work in the sense that maybe they're trying to just rebrand it and just make it like a full on comedy. Cause I remember the first one was a comedy too. I, I, I remember yeah. that it was a comedy. So maybe they're just like, let's bring it back. And some people might remember the name and we'll just kind of cash on that, you know? 
Because at the same time, I don't remember it being like a critically acclaimed film. <laughs> you know, like so maybe I'm just thinking too much about this. You don't. You don't remember the Oscars that it won. You call that Oscar? Now this, this is an Oscar. I only that's the only scene that I remember. Uh, not the not the Oscar, but <laughs> yeah, like the knife. This is a knife. Is that a knife? This is a knife. Yeah, that's that was great. I still use that from time to time. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm Wait, sure. You still pull out knives on people. I still pull out <laughs> knives on people. Yeah, and I'm like, you call that a knife? Now this, now this is a knife. Yeah, every single time. This is a knife. <laughs> yeah, I um. Yeah, I have no more comments on that. I'll check out the trailer later. Dundee. Yeah, Dundee. And what was the other movie? It was the Cop Gore. Uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Gore Police. I sent you both the trailers so that they don't have to look for them. Tokyo Al Gore Police? Got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, I want to I try something. I want to try to do some... See if my multiplayer works. I want to see how many people can join before it gets all buggy. I'm going to do some stress test. All right. I'm down. Yeah, let's see it. There's, there's nothing to it, so don't be excited. Hmm. It's just... No, I played it the other day. It was pretty good. No. Don't be too excited. Oh, I made it bigger, too, by the way. I made... Uh, I had more uh, environments. So where is the... Okay, let's, let's bring this up to, like, something like 50... I have no idea if this is going to be good, but we'll find out. If if you're uh, watching this on the phone and you're on Facebook, you should be able to um, you should be able to join. So just it looks like you have to copy. Oh no, you can click on the link. So I think I'm going to be the host. Yeah, there you go. So I'm the host, and it's just a point and click type of venture. <laughs> It's not really a point and click. Here, let me put it in the Discord too. Let me see if I can get some peeps up in here. Uh, I'm in. Yeah. All right, so if you're in the Discord. Oh, yeah, there's four of y'all. Yeah. Follow me, my right. young. Follow me, my warriors. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, I'm the one out here. Okay, meet me back in the origin. Hey, where, where are y'all going? You're following the wrong leader. Yeah, this, that's this me right here? here. Yeah, I'm the okay. one right next to the T that's on the side. That kind of looks like uh, a hammer. I'm right in the middle of it. Okay, we got two people yeah. in the party. I'm okay. with you. There's only four people, though. So one other person just stranded. Oh, let's go on a hunt. Let's look for him. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there you are. Hey, follow us. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, what? Leave no man behind. No, that's an imposter right here. The real me is below that person. Hey, what? Wait, where are you going? Yeah, so only, <laughs> I'm trying to get all of us wrangled together. I was playing with this with my daughter, pretending that we were um, um, playing hiding and seek. Yeah, I only have four people in here. Oh, there's another person joined the party. Oh, more people. Welcome. <laughs> oh, there's what more people buying? coming in. There's more what people coming in. It's chaos. <laughs> Yeah, I need a better way to identify who's who. But this map is enormous, by the way. I should have probably made it smaller so that way I can actually see how many people are in here. Can I have a green helmet? Let me jump in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you can push each other. There's some multiplayer component. Yeah, look, we've got a lot of people in here running around. Is it is it um, laggy on your guys' end? Uh, a little bit, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, if there's a little lag, it's fine. But if it's, like, super laggy... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Swarm of people. Leave me. You'll never find me. Wherever you want to go. Okay, I'm going to hide. And then if you guys can find me, I'm the one that's going back and forth. From left to right. If you can find me, you're a king. Uh, uh, who's this? I'm the only one that's going left and right. Because there's no other way to find out. Oh! 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's all found me. All right. But yeah, looks like it's working. Because I'm trying to do, um, I'm going to try to make this multiplayer game. And I'm trying to get the multiplayer to work. And it looks like it's working. It's working right, like so a, there's no, there's no objective. 
<laughs> There's nothing. So, uh, how do I cast my alt? <laughs> I know. But this this should work on the phone, too. So you can actually, like, um... Oh, well, yeah, there's a whole bunch of us. There's all of... <laughs> you guys like the little character? Yeah, I designed him. I know it's one of the best designs in the world. Yeah. Uh, but it should work on the phone, too. But anyway, all right, I'm going to close the server. A bunch of jokers. So if you're, like, wondering if, um... The bloody server disconnected. Well, yeah, he shut it down. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I just shut it down. <laughs> um, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna paint a little bit more on this guy and call it a day. But, um, yeah, I was, uh, I just been learning how to make video games. Uh, I've been spending some time making a website, uh, for the, the games I'm gonna be making. I already had one before, but... Me and my buddy have been working on games together, and so we kind of want to make one that's like, um, yeah, synonymous with both of us, and to build it around that brand versus just like the roll of pencil. Because yeah, I build roll of pencil mostly around myself, but I generally just teach. And at one point, I'm going to start teaching how to make video games. You know, especially uh, if I become really good at it and I make a game that's really highly popular. You know, or at least popular amongst the indie. Dev scene, nah, I mean, nah, I mean. So that way I have some true credentials, other than just like, oh yeah, I just watch a lot of YouTube videos and I'm just repeating what other people do. Like, no, nah, like, no, nah, I'm gonna make sure I know how to make a legit, successful game and and then help out. There, there's a lot of great tutorials by the. I'm not necessarily trying to knock those who make just YouTube tutorials and haven't made games, because a lot of those people I watch and I'm learning from them. <laughs> you know. I'm just saying, like, um, it, there, there's some real power behind, like, someone who not only teaches you how to use the tools and craft, but they also have worked or done things in the industry that they can give even more practical insight. That's, that's generally how I like to try to roll. And right now I don't have that ability. I'm sure I can start teaching some basic stuff, but I just don't feel comfortable. Yet. Yet. But uh, yeah, I've been learning game stuff. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make something from that demonstration that I just showed you guys. I'm gonna make like some slow like uh, me and my friend were talking about like making just like a simple like hide and seek game because that's like all I can really do right now with multiplayer. I think I could do more. It's just all I want to do with that. I have like this other idea that's like way way cooler, and I was like, oh, dude. If I can just figure out this multiplayer business and make this game, I think it's going to be really popular. Um, but I have to make it first to find out. And it has to be good. But I'm getting better. Getting better. Every day, learning something. What I'm trying to do is just get good. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go to work, guys. I'll see you later. Yeah. All right. See you, Brad. Bye. Laters. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get going, too, actually. But the streams are going to be coming back. I'm going to probably use a different streaming service. So I might not be streaming on Facebook because I don't think there's a access to Facebook using um, Steam Labs, is there? That's one of like, the, the main reason why I like love you know what I can do? I can probably just use the regular OBS and then stream there and then also stream using the stream labs. So it's like doubling down. Or I could just stick to OBS. I Most of the people who watch me are on Facebook anyway. Generally. I, I think, yeah. I was going to say, I think there's a multi, there's a multi stream thing for, uh, for the there, stream labs OBS. Yeah, there might be one for Facebook. I might not... Well, I think just by default, it actually does stream both YouTube and Twitch. Yeah. You just hit stream and it just goes to both, or you can... I don't I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. I, as, as far as I know, all the options in sort of regular OBS are still there. They're just like, you know, in slightly different places. <clears throat> so you should be able to output to Facebook. What you can do is join their Discord server and... Uh, in Type any of the support 
questions you have or any feature requests because they're super responsive. There's a huge community on their Discord, so yeah, so uh, yeah, they're, they're they have a lot of stuff they want to add, and I'm sure since it's a, a feature that you can do an X split, they'll be looking at that, trying to see if they can take that too. Well, it's not even a feature in X split. It's like what Tabasso was saying. It's a feature on their platform. They already have it. They already have a Facebook streaming ability. So if it's already available, like if if he what he's saying is true, that if it's available on their uh, original on standard ODS, yeah, then it should be there too. So uh, I don't see why it wouldn't be, it, but I can see why it would not be it as well. I just don't know for sure. I'll have to just see what's up. But yeah, I'll, I'll I'll hit up their support. Sounds good. But um, yeah, I mean, time to get back to it. Yep. Time to get back to it. I've had, yeah, I've had my fun being stranded on a desert island, but now I'm back. Now it's just because like um, I want to get back to streaming and talking and hanging out, and then doing questions and answers and all that good stuff. And maybe uh, I, I've always wanted to turn this into some sort of podcast type system. It's just very challenging because of the kiddos. But it was first it was like my surgery then i got over my surgery then my child was born and now my child he, he's like coming on to eight months so it's like it's getting easier he's past like the harder parts of raising a baby which is like the first uh four to five months and then after that i had like um a lot of like financial like hurdles to overcome so i've been I was focused on this and then when i started getting my time back and I, I just started learning how to do game dev again because i was just like because that's all I had time to do, really. Because I was like, whenever um, I can't just sit down and do stuff, I can just learn stuff wherever I'm at. And so I was just watching tons of videos and reading a lot of articles and posting on forums a lot, trying to learn. And then that, I, cause I could do that on my phone, right? That's the beauty of like having a smartphone. So I can be holding my baby and then just learning. I realized I did that for almost all my babies. I think all my kids, when they were babies, I was like, I was always on some, I was learning something, right? When they were babies. I think like when I first started learning game dev, um, yeah, which was about four years ago. Yeah, my son, he was still just a baby. And uh, I had like made a whole game inspired by him. And so it's, I think that's just what happens. So every time I have a baby, I expect that I'm gonna learn a lot of stuff. <laughs> Like, okay, you are now Unity, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I just learned a lot of new things. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate y'all. Uh, cheers, man. So if you guys don't see me ever again, those who are on Twitch or YouTube, then go on Facebook. That's probably where I'm going to be going off of. Uh, but I might be... No, if I use Steam or uh, Streamlabs, uh, you guys will see me because I'll be using Streamlabs. But anyway... Peace out, friends. So I'm going to say goodbye to the Twitch folks, laters. And then I'm going to say goodbye to the Facebook folks, laters. And then I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTube folks.